So how can we minimize these drawbacks? Let us look at the few methods. Using symbols which can indicate physical states of the reactants and products. S for solid, G for gas, etc. Conditions necessary for the reaction to occur are represented along the center arrow between the reactants and products. Concentrations of the solutions of reactants can be indicated by writing DIL for dilute and CONC for concentrated solutions. Heat changes during a reaction are indicated by writing plus QKJ plus Q kilojoules or minus QKJ minus Q kilojoules along. Evolution of a gas can be indicated by putting an arrow pointing upwards. Formation of a precipitate is indicated by putting an arrow pointing downwards. In case of a reversible reaction, double-headed arrows are used between the reactants and products. Rate of reaction can be indicated by writing slow or fast along with the products.